Hey guys, Happy Gamer here, and uh, we're back today for another video, and um, sorry it's been so long since the last video, I've been uh, extremely busy both with uh, the school and with uh, creating the first Pay West scenery, which uh, I thought I'd show off to get today. Um, but, as I mean, I've only really done helicopter videos on this channel, um, but I think I'm going to do a video today showing off the Aerosum Dev Group the new Piper Cub, the Super Cub, they've created and um, and just released. Um, so, again, if you're if you're here just for helicopters, I'm sorry. Today will be a non-helicopter video, but most of them are still going to be helicopter related, and I should be getting back into uh, into making videos for you guys. Um, but today we'll uh, go ahead and do a flight at the Allen Burroughs Island Airport or the Allen Burroughs Island. Uh, our strip um that uh, it's a payware scenery that i've made and i've just released so sorry for the plug here uh, it's only five pounds so if you're interested in that then um i'll have a link down below that you can check it out um so but yeah we'll be doing the aerosum dev group um hyper here and uh, this is this is actually the first time i've had a look at this this is going to be more of a first impression because i have not flown this at all. I've only flown a freeware Piper Cub, which it wasn't bad, but it's not super great. And I've seen extremely well good things about this, so uh, so I thought I'd uh, I'll take it for a spin for you guys. So I think we'll just stick with the uh, with the standard standard version here. Um, the the iconic yellow Piper Cub. So that'll be that'll be absolutely amazing. Um, anything we should check out in weight and balance? No, we'll. Add a bit more weight. I weigh a bit more than that. Um, and half fuel is, is probably going to be fine. We'll have two hours of flight apparently. So that's good. So weather, we'll just do clear for now. Um, first time flying it, of course, want to uh, just take it a bit easy. And uh, I think we'll spawn up here at the uh, northwestern start. All right. Well, it's it's looking good already here. We've got some uh, some simcoders.com plug. Titan, which I believe is the company that supplied them with data for the engines, I think. Yeah, who knows? And then of course, Arizona Dev Group, who are the uh, the primary developers of this. Um, this is really cool because they have Reality Expansion Pack already built into it, uh, which is of course made by Simcoders. That's that's going to be fun to try out. Um, usually, that's something you buy on top of a payware aircraft. Which can make some of them really expensive, but for this one they've uh, they've fitted it all in, and uh, I think it's going to be worth the price. So um, so I'm going to spawn in here, click start flight, and I'll be back with you guys when uh, I've loaded into the sim. All right, so now we're in, and first thing I'm just going to set up X camera, because uh, that of course is not set up. So enable track IR. All right. Few lag spikes when uh, when launching. Oh, one second. I'll be right back. I uh, just noticed that I have disabled something because uh, I was doing some testing. So I'll be I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So here we are in the uh, Super Cub. I've installed the um, the 2K texture pack because uh, I've only got a two gigabyte um, graphics card, so didn't want it to uh, to get too uh, high texture resolution, so it, you know it can load it all. Um, but here we are in the Super Cub. I'm not going very great frames right now, uh, partially due to the scenery of course, but also uh, I think mainly due to the uh, Super Cub, so uh, so I guess that just means it's, it's you know really high quality and uh, has a lot of features and stuff. So let's um, let's get going here. Now you can do, out here you got some menus, what have we got? We've got knee board, mass and balance, We've got walk around, tow, maintenance report, and an automatic engine start. That's quite cool. If we go to walk around, what can we do? Oh, we got some. Uh, okay. So pilots operating handbook, park and brake said. Okay, so we just got all the things. I'm not going to bother checking all of this, but we can we can check quantity and color. Not quite sure where you meant to check that, but all of that. I'll find out at some point because uh, I really want to get into this thing. Pretty cool. I like it. All right. 
But let oh, what did I just click? I clicked something up here. Avionics on. Was that what? Is that what I clicked? Oh, I don't know. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and click the uh, automatic engine start. All right. So it looks like it's starting up, maybe. We've got parking brakes on. So that's good. Battery on. Okay, so it's doing stuff. That's cool. Fuel pump on, fuel pump off, makes you closed. Gotta open one inch. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there we go then. <clears throat> Apparently, spark plugs are fouling. I don't know. Seems, seems alright. I won't bother too much with it. I think we'll... Okay, so the flaps aren't animated. That's kind of interesting. Alright, well, we'll do one set of flaps. And, uh... We'll taxi out here. We'll get going. So it is a tail dragger, so I'm expecting the uh, ground stuff to be fairly difficult. Yeah, so a lot of right rudder there to compensate for the torque. Bring the nose over. And we can get flying. Sweet. And we're up on. Awesome. Well, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I really like this. The uh, textures and stuff are really high quality, even though I've only got the uh, 2K texture pack installed. Get ahead and get flaps up. Right, we'll pull the throttle back a little bit. Don't want to uh, go too crazy on the uh, on the power settings. So we've got the uh, the full avionics pack here, which is cool. But I think you can also, uh, I think. Through the kneeboard, you can select a, a much more simple version. So I might do that when we uh, when we get down to the ground and land. And uh, put the throttle back even more. This I think this is in miles power. It is indeed in miles power. So we can put the flaps down at. Uh, what looks to be about 85 miles per hour, and then uh, stall speed at about 50 miles per hour. Right, full flaps. And coming in here, just turning. Uh, on the on the left base about to turn final lined up down the runway and uh, don't know what kind of landing we're going to do I think we might go for a, a three-pointer see how that goes Alright, coming down nicely. And close the throttle and uh, pull back. There we go. On the ground. Awesome. Alright, well I'm quickly going to pack up. We'll... Uh, spark plugs are apparently fouling, so... I guess you have to give it a little bit of throttle. Take a look in the manuals to see how to clean the spark plugs. Interesting. Alright, 
I'm just going to pack up and I'm going to turn XP realistic on because uh, I totally forgot to turn that on for this aircraft so that should make things even better and uh, and then from there on we'll uh, I think we'll do one more circuit and we'll do that in the simple cockpit and I can really hear the, uh, the sounds of the brakes alright I'll be back in a second Alright, so we are back here, and uh, I think we'll we'll just get going here, taking off. Um, I think we'll take off out to the uh, out to the right here, since uh, we're in a super cup, so we can uh, we can take off on quite a short distance. We're only in the 150 horsepower version, so we don't have that much horsepower. Or well, we do, but not compared to the 180 horsepower. But this should be plenty of plenty of room to take off so we'll go full throttle we got full flaps in stick is forward right pedal and uh, off the ground climbing up flaps one up and we'll go ahead and get second stage of flaps up as well I seem to be getting a bit of a bit better frame rate in uh, in the version with the simpler cockpit. I don't know if there's a if there's a bit of an issue with the other one. Maybe there's just so much going on that it's uh, a little bit too uh, a little bit too crazy, too heavy on the sim, or at least for my sim. I do not have the best setup, but it's uh, you know it's all right. It do the it does the trick. Ah, so we'll come in and we'll uh, we'll land the other way. Now this uh, this way is actually a bit tricky landing on on this island because there's a bit of a slope at the start of the runway. So either you have to land technically climbing, uh, or you have to kind of pass that slope. Now since this is kind of you know first time in in the super cup, we'll probably just land a bit long of the uh, of the start of the runway, so that way we can uh, we can fairly simply uh, get get on the ground without having to do some uh, some crazy sloped landing gotta say this is a really really full full aircraft now there's a bunch of stuff um we've got the simple cockpit now so now we don't have the gps down there but you you can still have it up there which is uh which is now same with the transponder which makes it really useful and uh nice we've got the fuel quantity and even though I've, again as i said even though i have the 2k texture pack this is like really good resolution textures and it looks really good so no complaints there Alright, so we'll get, that was one stage of flaps in, I think uh, our, sp oh wow, we are really fast, surprisingly. I didn't even look at my speed, so we'll get two stages of flaps in, we can do that now, and uh, we're quite a no-stand attitude, I think we'll just do a uh, turn around here, just a 360 quickly, just to bleed off a bit of speed and maybe a bit of altitude. That caught me a little bit off guard, should have been there. Uh, watching out a bit more and 75 knots we'll get another f set of flaps in or the first one and there we go and idle throttle and uh, it should be a bit better still a bit fast a little bit high but not too bad same way knots definitely a bit too fast so we'll do this uh, one of those wheelie landings where we land on on the first two wheels, two front wheels. There we go, and you can see how we've got the uh, reality XP in there now because uh, see the touchdown shake has that been added. That's really awesome. All right. Well, that's that's just uh, that's just awesome. Not really much complaints. I think uh, oh, no flaps animation is a bit weird, um, but you know. Also got a quite full checklist, and the maintenance uh, panel was also quite nice. I guess I'll I'll show you that now. Um, 
it's a, it does have a lot of features, especially with the reality, um, reality expansion thing. I'll just pack up here next to the uh, next to the Cessnas. Try and fit in. And uh, don't know how you're meant to shut this thing down. I guess we could check look in the in the checklist. So normal operations. Engine start. Taxi before takeoff. Line up. Climb. Cruise. Descent. Approach. Engine shut down. So park and brake. We'll set the park and brake. So. I can break set throttle to 1000 revolutions per minute. Uh, radio slash avionics can go off. So that's up here, so avionics can go off. Mixture cutoff. Really? Okay, so mixture cutoff. Fuel. Is that the fuel down here? You can go to off, sweet, and then the master can go off. I'm guessing that's up here too. Lighting out taxi light, you can battery switch off. Sweet, that wasn't so bad. All right, well, uh, I guess that's uh, I guess that's all I have to to, to show you guys now. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. So again, I'll leave a link to the scenery down below, and I'll also leave a link down to uh, to this Piper Cup. It's uh, it's really good quality. Let's just have a look from the outside. Um, I've had a, a bit of a look, and it's it's actually spectacular. You can really see the reflections on the wings there. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous. The tires are also really really awesome. We've of course got the Tundra tires. And you can just see the wear and tear on the on the aircraft. It's uh, it's awesome. Right, so yeah, that's been it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you uh, if you have any suggestions on what content you want to see next, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, until the next video, guys, take care.